Hi everybody, uh, this is Adam Collingwood, Financial Traders Cafe. Uh, I believe at the moment what we're witnessing is um, some of the most uh, dangerous uh, times in financial history. Uh, we are seeing um, overinflated markets, market manipulation uh, by the governments uh, and the main uh, authorities uh, being the, the Fed the European Central Bank and the Bank of England uh, manipulating uh, markets to move in a certain direction is extremely, extremely dangerous. Um, it's done for one reason, one reason only, and that's to benefit uh, the extremely wealthy. Um, Draghi's latest announcement that he was going to be printing uh, 60 billion euros uh, a month up until 2016 uh, was one of those ploys uh, to um, deliberately manufacture uh, something to uh, drive the market upward again. Um, as a result of that, it's weakened uh, the euro. Uh, dollar has strengthened massively, as uh, many of you know, uh, if you are trading uh, Forex you will see that it's uh, strengthened uh, immensely against uh, any other um, any other currency pair and there's even talk that it will come down to parity which is bizarre uh, because what I know about the US dollar if this was revealed to the wider public um, then uh, it certainly wouldn't be as strong as, as, as it is against uh, other currencies uh, but um, as we know, when news eventually does trickle into the wider market, um, then it will uh, create um, a turn the other way. Um, but because of this, uh, this stimulus uh, in Europe at the moment, uh, that's what has been um, has been weakening the euro. Uh, this uh, this program where they will be printing more than a trillion uh, euros uh, over the the coming months. Um, we just don't know whether that's going to um, continue to increase the European markets, uh, such as the DAX and the CAC. Uh, the screen that you're looking at at the moment is a weekly chart of the of the DAX, and this number in the corner here, this 11522, this is absolute crackers. Um, the research that uh, that I have done on this, I've gone back at every other time in history, and it's never ever. Um, hit a high like this before in such quick succession. Uh, I know that it is absolute market manipulation. Um, I have no um, qualms about that at all. Uh, I know what is actually happening behind the scenes and uh, it's not good. Um, it is, um, is I wouldn't say, fraudulent is a, is a very strong word, um, but uh, there are things that go on. I mean, even today, the Bank of England have had to um, uh, confirm that they are being investigated by the Serious Fraud Office uh, for doing something uh, awry. Um, and many, 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 many things that have been going on and been publicised recently from uh, the Forex debacle uh, where the banks have been fixing um, to LIBOR rates fixing. Um, it's it's all very corrupt. Um, we've known that for quite some time. Uh, but now I think I think even the all the powers are quite surprised how easily they have been able to manipulate the markets in such a way that they can just um, just carry on their experiment of, of printing money and the Fed stopped that last year. But any rise in interest rates we know will um, will send shock rates around the market. Just a tiny, tiny move um, in, in, uh, in rates will will change things again. So uh, that's what the, the politicians and the bankers are concerned about. That's why they could just continue to keep artificially inflating uh, everything. And um, what we know is every cause has an effect. This cause is a very, very, very dangerous one and will have a very dangerous effect where it all um, uh, starts to get revealed. Um, but anyhow, what we're looking at at the moment, um, this is why this is so bonkers is uh, it, what you're seeing is the current price of um, the DAX, uh, which we can see here is uh, 11.523. And this is the 200 day moving average. Now we know that with stocks, indices, commodities, 
uh, currency pairs they always come back to the mean at some point okay and so we're looking the traditional ones of the blue line there the 50 day average uh, moving average and the 200 day moving average and you can see uh, the current uh, 200 day moving average this just goes to show how quickly the, the DAX has moved up uh, the 200 day average is um, 8410 so if we measure from 8410 up to the current close we're talking a huge movement there over 3000 points and this is in a short period of time of course um, I mean just here back in October the um, the low was 8350 so it wasn't far off the moving average the 200 day moving average and then it just took off it just took off from there and uh, and we know that as soon as um is january came and uh, and draggy uh confirmed to the market that he was going to be going on this funny money printing program uh that um the markets just said great absolutely fantastic we know where that money is going uh so it's, it had actually been factored in anyway the expectation that um it was going to be going into um into uh, into bonds and you can see also into the wider share market and what's actually happening with the DAX. Now the major concern is that if you look at what the DAX represents it's the top 30 companies in in Germany so why just because some news comes out does it mean that those companies are worth more money? Is it just because that they're actually going to be given um, lots of funny money so that they can just reinvest in themselves buy more shares in the in, in the business does that mean that the company is, is valued more in October than now than what it was in October to this point I mean what is it, it, it it's not real this is just illusory and at some point this is, has to come back to the mean so there's going to be an almighty crash this is the difference between the 200 day this is on the weekly chart the two difference between the 200 day moving average and the current price is 37 percent 37 percent so if you go back and look at um what i've measured here which is in june uh last year 2014 from this point where they had actually risen quite considerably it was a nice nice trend so just let me let you show uh, let you see what happened there so that nice uptrend it just if you kept in there all the way that would have been uh that would have um made you uh quite a bit of money but we know that once it's actually just it keeps moving further and further away from the 200 day average then it has to start to pull back at some point so it pulls back has a bit more of a rally and then it pulls back further into into October which you could see there but from the highest point that it reached which was around here it had moved 2,296 points above the 200 day so that was a move of 22 percent okay if we go further back to January you can see that it's moved 2360 points away from the moving average so 24.2 percent and then we can go back here and we can see the difference between there and there I can see that it's a you know it's a smaller number but percent percentage wise is what we're is what we're looking at so we can see from here to here that's a 26 percent move Let's move back further and you can see when it moves away from the average which is this is 2010 again from this point to here we can see 19 percent 19.4 percent and then you can see what happens next it comes back to the 200 day and of course in this case it actually pushed through this is in August 2011 um, which if you remember then there was um, uh, trouble in, in Europe at that point but nothing nothing at that time in August 2011 like it is at the moment but looking at what it's doing at the moment it doesn't seem to have any problem 
just moving up. And the next level on here is at this point, which is um, the next resistance point is 11770, so 11775, so just there. Okay, but then the next level, so you can see the trend line here from here, where I've just pointing to here, the next level that it could move to is 12, 5, 1, 8. I mean, it's, <laughs> that is bonkers. Um, but with this stimulus program, um, who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? This has never happened before. This The distance between the 200-day and the current price, it, it's just kept moving up and up and up. And that is just literally as a result of this money printing program, this stimulus that supposedly is going to um, to sort out uh, Europe. But it's not. It's not. I'm writing an e-book at the moment about what is actually really happening. And I think it's going to really concern many, many people that um, that they have actually been lied to. This is total manipulation. And instead of them just letting economic cycles just do what they need to do, patterns just need to do what they do, it's just nature, it has to eventually revert back to the mean. But they're trying to stop that from happening. They're trying to deter that so that they can keep the gravy run it, train running as as um, as long as they can. Um, but it's going to only end in tears, and there's a lot of a lot of just everyday folk that are going to get hurt. Now, if you're somebody that's trading the market, you're looking and, and, and many 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 people will be short on the DAX, and they'll be looking and thinking, what's going on? Well, what's going on is market manipulation. That's what's going on. And there's nothing to say that this won't, with this um, this stimulus program, then the European Central Bank met today, and um, um, the markets didn't move that much as a result of the news coming out um, one way or the other. Um, it's tested, I'll just go to the daily chart now, and um, it has uh, tested the um, highest point here of 11.530. Okay, so this was where some minor um, minor diagonal resistance here um, which just pushed that down it just tested it and um, and we'll see how um, the DAX closes today and uh, let's just see what this is doing on the five minutes so you see it's just finding a little bit of resistance there but there's nothing to stop it from pushing through because it's doing any it's doing what it wants to do at the moment the market makers because there's very thin volumes very very thin volumes in the in on, on a lot of the markets at the moment there's not a huge amount of buying what's actually pushing it up and the market makers are just manipulating it and we know who's doing that i know who's doing that who has a real incentive to see the dax going up but what do you do do you continue to keep buying the dax on the basis that it is being manipulated or do you wait until eventually everybody comes to their senses? And I keep and I point again to this: 37%, 3,170 points away from the 200-day average. 37%. Now, when we actually put the Fibonacci levels on on the daily charts, on the retracement, it is absolutely flown past that from the lows in October, from here, which was a low of 8350 so from there 8350 it shot up by over 3000 points and i ask you are those companies really worth the valuations that are given to them if you look at the companies in america on the cape schiller index you can see they're massively 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 overpriced i've been calling a crash there is a stock market crash coming and it will come this year in 2015 we will see a stock market crash there are too many powder kegs which are going to be ignited it only takes one to be the catalyst it might end up being something totally left field but there are so many 
problems going on. We have an oil crisis happening below the surface. We know that oil prices have been pushed down considerably by the Middle East because they can afford to do that. They, are, they have a lot of cash on the balance sheets. It doesn't cost them as much as other countries to produce oil. You look at the fracking companies in the USA and they are heavily leveraged but the banks that have lent them money have lent it on the basis on average on most fracking companies producing oil that they can sell for eighty dollars and what's the price at the moment fifty dollars so if the price stays at that for much longer and we know that there have been there's a lot of um, derivatives out to protect positions but those contracts are going to expire soon um, so what happens then when they do expire if the price of oil hasn't gone up in the next couple of months now the Middle East are quite happy to keep the price of oil as low as it is it serves them well so it is really damaging a lot of the companies in America and the banks of course that have lent those fracking companies considerable amounts of money employment is heavily dependent on those fracking companies as well which is which has really helped boost the um, the USA economy um, but they're really having their collar felt now so what are they going to do about it what's Yellen going to do about it if the banks come to her cap in hand again and saying that they're that they're bust again we know what happened in 2008 where they were over leveraged and they went bust and they had to be bailed out what are we going to do? What are the what are the Americans going to continue to do? Keep bailing and bailing and bailing the banks out? Let's print some more money again. Perhaps they'll do that. Another money printing program. But it will all end in... T you can't just keep money, printing money and then just forcing bonds, putting it into bonds and then just keeping the rate as at an absolute zero. We know what happened with quantitative easing in uh, in Japan in the past. They had a period of 20 years of deflation. It didn't work. They tried to stimulate the economy by doing that. And we saw what happened. The experiment didn't work. And it won't happen again. It will not work this time. So nature has to take its course. It has to take its course. And going back to the chart that we're looking at the moment. Can this go any further? I mean, 37% this difference between the 200-day and the current price. I mean, what's it going to do? Go up another another uh, thousand points to 12.5, so that that would probably be about 50% difference. I mean, this is what is so daft at the moment. The markets then don't trend the way that they should trend. There's a spike here. And it's very, very, very dangerous. And there's going to be a lot of damage done. I mean, Italy have got the worst unemployment for centuries. I mean, a lot of people take no notice of that. They've got huge problems. The debt that they actually have, they're not making enough each year. If you look at the GDP, it's way, 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 way lower than the debt and what they actually know. Oh, we've got the Brexit. So Greece have been um, given a couple of months to sort themselves out, but the problem's not going to go away. And Europe know that. Portugal and Spain have still got horrendous problems. It's only Germany at the moment that is actually holding everybody up. And that's why the DAX has been manipulated in the way that it has. So that's my warning to you at the moment. Um, the difference here is very, very dangerous. I, mean, this, the, I can give you 20 reasons why it, markets are very dangerous. But if we're just looking at technical analysis and we're looking at where, you know, looking at certain channels on the charts where a price could actually go to, um, there's no hardly any volume trading really on the DAX. It's just market makers 
playing with it but it has to eventually come back at some point okay but when I mean could it continue to go up by another three four five hundred points before eventually it comes back what will it take to turn this around so very dangerous uh, at the moment and um, you can see it's very eerie actually seeing that that movement there from January January the 12th upwards so from 9620-9580 all the way up that just huge move okay so it's usually usually should I say it will come back so I hope you find this inter this video interesting um, it is something that um, that uh, I am um, concerned about um, you have to be very 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 careful in the markets at the moment whether you're buying or selling uh, because when it is manipulated in the way that it is um, I mean, people continuing to keep buying the DAX because they think that it's going to keep going up and up because of the, the stimulus program um, that uh, the ECB have uh, decided to go on uh, but you know I'm not I'm not buying it at all um, I can't I can't actually buy the DAX at the moment just because it's being manipulated you know what will happen if we just suddenly get a massive sell-off which could happen any day not saying it will happen tomorrow or next week but it will happen it has to happen and if people are still buying at this point um, then in terms of put the probability index they um, they will they will potentially um, lose lose on this okay so look out for um, the ebook as well and um, lots more videos uh, at the financial traders uh, cafe uh, if you do want to uh, send uh, an email. The email address is uh, traders at financial traders cafe dot info. That's traders at financial traders cafe dot info. Okay, you all take care and um, be very careful out there with your trading. All the best.